You've heard me say this a million times, you'll hear me say it a million times more. Uh, individuals play the game, teams win championships. You know, when you can surround yourself with people that are laced with integrity, are great family men, uh, great people, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't just run it, rush into things. Uh, when they put their name behind something, it's because they truly believe in it. You know, when this individual, before we even thought of him, and here's a funny story that none of y'all know about. We're sitting in the office and I go, we've got to come up with a partner that can be our, our, our face. Someone everyone knows. And when everyone thinks of their name, they think good thoughts, <laughs> right? right? I mean, if you think of certain, you know I have friends that you, you know that I'm friends with and some of them are polar, right? I mean, you either love them or hate them, right? And, and so that's not a good national spoke. You have to have somebody that people respect. Right? Even if they did beat your team, <clears throat> Philadelphia, um, even if they did beat your team, New York, uh, on a regular basis, right? Pittsburgh, on a regular basis, uh, even, if, even if they beat you, you still respect them and, you, and you're, you're, you want them to be on your team, right? And so when we're thinking about different names, this, this is a funny story, and I actually texted uh, this gentleman, Troy, a picture of this story. But we're in the office. The old temporary offices, as you all may or may not know, our, our actual offices offices are still being built, right? It takes a while. So we're stuck in temporary offices. That's why when you call our phone line and get a voice recording, it sounds like a 1982 voice recording, right? Because there, you can't have good phone lines in that old office. But what's interesting, when we took over that old office, there was only one thing that was left in the office from a decorative standpoint. And I couldn't make this story up. It was a Troy Aikman autographed jersey sitting in the, oh, this old office that we took over. And, and I, when I, after we inked the deal, I walked into the office, Janice's office, where this jersey is actually just it's sitting in a case on, on the floor, sorry, on the floor. Um, and I walked into the office and went, holy cow, I forgot about that autographed Troy Aikman jersey. And I looked at myself, I looked up at the ceiling, and I go, God, you have a great sense of humor, man. Here we are trying to think of the perfect spokesperson and instead, instead of just being a spokesperson, you got an amazing man who is a partner. You all help me welcome your new teammate at ID Life, the Troy Aikman. <laughs> I just, I, just, I just told Troy, I said, all the girls are shrieking. I said, uh, I told Troy backstage, my wife was back there, but I told Troy, I said, you know, I used to be semi-attractive to our field until you showed up, Troy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're still attractive. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love you, too. Hey, Troy Stinkin' Aikman's in the house, huh? You're not crazy. All right, so let's take it back. We figured what we would do is do a kind of a, a low-key fireside chat conversation, um, just kind of how all this came about. And obviously, you're a Hall of Fame quarterback. When you know Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl, you're a legend all around the world. And uh, it's an honor to have you as you. A, a partner. And so let's take them back because they don't know the story. You and I've spoken about it. They don't know the story. So um, we meet Super Bowl week up in New York. And we had the conversation, and basically, uh, you asked all the right questions. I could tell that you were serious about health and wellness. And so, before I go any further, why don't you just, just let folks know, you know, it's, he's passionate about his health, so let folks know sort of your background in the health and wellness space after your career as it pertains to workouts and et cetera. Yeah, I, uh, you know, of course, as a professional athlete and even as, uh, as a kid growing up, uh, my, my dreams uh, had always been to be a professional athlete. And, and so uh, working out became just a part of my life at a very young age. And, and then clearly that continued uh, through college, through my years with the Cowboys. And uh, I, what I've seen from a lot of players is once they retire, they either kind of continue with that regimen or they get, you know, they're so burned out on the workout schedule because it is pretty uh, intensive that they then go the other way and they take years off. And then they, they try to get it back at some point and it's very difficult. And, and for me, uh, I stayed with it. It was just a part of what I did each and every day. And uh, really in the last five years, I'd say, is when I've kind of taken it to a different level in terms of trying to 
eat really, really well, and I've gotten into you know the supplements and uh, different forms of exercise and trying to shock the body and and, and all that. And I think it's uh, you know probably as much to do with uh, you know just the fact that that you know we're we're all getting older and and you try to slow that process as much as you can and. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm serious about my workouts and, and uh, try to keep myself in as good a shape as I can. Well, what's interesting is, uh, so, you know, when you see an individual, and I don't mean to embarrass you here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, you see an individual in clothes, you know, he looks good. looks like he's in shape, right? I'm actually not throwing you under the bus. I'm throwing Sarah under the bus. So we're at the live video shoot two days ago. And so he's put, trying on different clothes for the video shoot. And wait till you all see that. He was amazing. But we're doing the video shoot and all this stuff. And uh, Sarah Isom, my right-hand girl, our director of field development, she goes, you know, are you decent? And Troy goes, yeah, come on in. Because, you know, athletes, we're used to being, we don't care. You know what I mean? It's like, if, yeah, I mean, if I'm breathing, I'm decent. Come on in, whatever. So, so, so Sarah walks in, and, I, and I'm in there, and, and Troy's trying on stuff. He doesn't have a shirt on and stuff. And Sarah literally looks at me, and I thought, you just, I thought I was just about to lose an employee. I thought she was about to die right there. <laughs> I told Troy, I said, when I grow up, I want to look like you. It makes me sick how good this guy looks. So, uh, so ladies, we're making an ID Life poster. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So anyway, no, my point is this, though. I, in my mind, I'm a business guy, right? And so in my mind, I go, dude, this guy is in amazing shape, which is so perfect. So let's fast forward. You referenced your aging. We all do. And as we age, the body slows down. Things happen. And so you and I are sitting there in, uh, in Manhattan the week of the Super Bowl, and you said, you know, Logan, I really don't know what supplements to take. I don't, you know, it's, you, you actually think your exact word, words were something along the lines of, you know, I'm embarrassed to say it, I really don't know. I mean, I have all these sources and stuff. Bottom line is, I heard about yours, and I really would like to know more about what you're doing. And so my response was, well, I want to know you believe in the product. You know, before we go any further from an integrity standpoint, I have to know for a fact you truly believe we have the best product, and then we can take the steps from there. And so talk about uh, our lunch and then how you got on ID Nutrition. Well, I think I probably speak for, for everyone here in the room in that Logan had told me about the product when we, when we met there in New York uh, and explained to me how it was personalized and and uh, you know how this was revolutionary in, in its approach, and and I liked what I heard, but yet yeah, didn't still really get the whole idea of it. So uh, we got together for lunch when when we both got back to Dallas and went through then the assessment test online, and and then that is really uh, you know when I got hooked because I'm answering questions as they pertain to me, and and then it's telling me exactly what it is that I need, all the things that 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 you all certainly are aware of. And, you know, when Logan says I didn't really know what supplements to take, that's, that is true. I was told, hey, you need more of this, you need some of this, and I'd say, great, and I'd go buy it. And then it would just kind of sit there because I just couldn't get into a real routine of, of taking the supplements. And, I, and I, I don't know why that is, but it just became uh, very problematic for me. So once I went through the assessment test and then received my uh, strip packs, name on them, take these for breakfast, take these for dinner, and I knew that I was taking the things that, that my body needed, uh, it's become you know, very easy for me now, and it's as much a part of my day as it is brushing my teeth or anything else. So um, I'm a big fan of the product. Uh, that's why I got involved with it. This, I went through that before I ever even signed on because uh, I said, look, I want to make sure that, that this is something that I do believe in and that I can get behind and feel good about, and uh, I, I couldn't feel better. I think it's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> One of the things I really respected about Troy when we were visiting, he said, you know, Logan, I'm at a point in my career where I don't want to throw my name on anything and everything. I have to truly believe in the product. And so then, let, then we started talking about you being a part of the company. And why don't you walk folks through that process in your mind, I'd love to hear the answer to this, of how you went from product user to going, okay, I don't want to just be a spokesperson, I want to be an investor in this. I want to, I want to be a part of the, this journey long term because I know that what you're doing is going to make a, an impact in people's lives. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. I, I think everyone here is pretty smart. And, uh, 
you know, for me, it, was, it wasn't about, I guess the, the, the main thing for me was that I believe so much in this, and I think it's so unique, and there's nothing that I've seen that, that's out there that's like it. Uh, and I think it addresses a real void in so many people's lives and being able to know specifically, you know, what you need that merely standing up and saying, hey, this is great, and yeah, I believe that, that for me that wasn't going to be enough, you know, I mean, I, I wanted to, uh, to have some ownership in it, you know, I mean, I wanted to be an investor in it, I wanted to realize more of the upside in this company than just simply being paid for believing in the company, you know, and so that's, that's really uh, why I wanted to jump behind this. I think uh, the reasons that I'm excited about it and saw the opportunity are the same reason all of you are sitting here today. That's beautiful. How cool is that, huh? You know, a gentleman that is, uh, has done great things for this company in a short amount of time is a mutual friend of ours, Larry North. And Larry was adamant about bringing you on board and, and obviously facilitated a lot of things there. And Larry's never endorsed a product in his life. And I think it's, why do you think we have so many people like Larry North, like Lisa Hart from Buns of Steel and all that, um, you know, Carla Ferrer, to all kind of celebrity athletes endorsing our products, using our products, promoting our products. What, what do you think the big differentiator is as to why they're doing it with ours and they've never agreed to do it for anyone else despite the fact they've been offered tons of money to do it? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, I think first of all is because of the people that are behind it, you know. Uh, you've heard people already this morning that, that, you know, are the people who put this thing together and have years and years of uh, research and, and uh, you know, it's a great product, one, but I, I think the differentiating factor in it really is, uh, is the personalization. Uh, I, I think that that's, that's the part that, uh, that everybody gets excited about, knowing that it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Uh, and for some, you know, those, hey, it, it, that works to some degree, that, that approach, but again, to go back to what I said earlier, when you're able to, to actually go through the assessment and what's good for you may not be good for me, or what I need, you know, isn't necessarily something that you need. And, uh, and for every individual that goes through that, to know that when you get it, uh, yeah. it, just, it just feels right. It feels good. And, uh, and so I think the, the people like Larry North and others that you talk about, and myself, uh, uh, I think that's the biggest reason why those types of people have gotten behind something like this, where maybe they were a little reluctant to get behind some other nutritional items in the past. Well, you know, I love what you said to me is, you know, you're like, Logan, look, I eat completely clean. And you said, you know, I'm, you know our, our doctor says take supplements. And you said, but man, what this does is it takes the guesswork out of what I need. Therefore, I, basically, in essence, you have a peace of mind knowing, okay, not only am I getting what I need, but I'm not taking things that I shouldn't be right. taking. And so why don't you talk about that? Because kids are near and dear to my heart. I know they're near and dear to your heart. There's a lot of parents out here. And, you know, we have these young athletes, and they're taking all kind of stuff, and they don't even know what they're taking. They don't know that what they're taking, even if it's a healthy ingredient, could be harmful on a lifestyle factor, a medical condition they may have, hereditary disposition they have. How important is that to you to make sure that we're not only getting what we need, but making sure we're not taking things we shouldn't be taking? Yeah, I th well, I think, the, I think there's a lot of people that have good intentions, you know, but they don't necessarily no, so they dispense advice when maybe they shouldn't. So you know, you say to this kid, "Hey, you, you know, you need to take this," or to an adult or whoever it might be that, you know, you need more of this, and that may not necessarily be true. I, I think uh, even healthy things sometimes, if taken too much of, is not necessarily good. So uh, the whole health space is is something that's important to me. I'm involved uh, not only now with ID Life, but I've been involved with. Uh, uh, childhood obesity and uh, trying to you know help curb that it's a it's a real problem as as we all know and those of you that have children certainly know so I'm dealing that with that with my 11 and 12 year old and trying to make sure that they're getting the right things and uh, you know so these types of products you know like ID life to where it's again personalized and you know that they're getting what exactly it is that they need uh, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good as a, as a father, uh, there's no doubt, in making sure that my girls are, 
doing the things that they need to do for their own health. That's that's a perfect example, you know, because we all ha have kids or, you know, one thing I say to folks is, is being in good health isn't just for yourself. It's for those that are counting on you. And one thing you said is, look, man, I want to be around to see my kids and their kids, Lord willing, and all, you know, and for, there's a lot of folks in the room that are fanatics about health and wellness, and there's a lot of people here, they don't know anything about health and wellness. They may be guests today, they're learning this for the first time. Um, what would you say to them, just to encourage them in regards to uh, the health and wellness space and what that means to not only them, but their people watching them, their kids? Well, I think that uh, the, the kids, I mean, they, they, first of all, they get their cues from their parents, uh, not, not only with regards to nutrition and health, but, you know, a, uh, you know, a lot of things. So uh, I think, one, you owe it to your children uh, in order to teach them the, the right things and the right things to eat or what they should or shouldn't be eating and, uh, so that they can be healthy. And, and then, uh, for me anyway, I, I, you know, I find that I have less stress, uh, you know, that I'm able to, uh, I, you know, I've never had depression or anything like that. I've got, you know, I've, I'm pretty uh, healthy in terms of haven't really had any major. And I, and I think all of that is a product of, of just, you know, keeping myself in some kind of shape, right? And uh, to help combat a lot of those things. And, and like you spoke of, uh, yeah, I want to be around for my, uh, see my girls grow. I want to see their their kids and 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 all of that. And the way to do that is to certainly uh, try to keep myself in as best shape as I can. And you you are uh, whether you you know not to get off on a little bit of a tangent, but you know the whole time that I was playing, there was the thing about well, are you a role model? Are professional athletes a role model? Uh, Charles Barkley, who happens to be a friend of mine. He had an ad, uh, the older people here know that he said, hey, I'm not a role model. And, and I knew where he was going with that commercial and what he meant by that, but yet we are all role models. And, and even, you know, you don't have to be a celebrity to be a role model either. Everyone in this room has somebody who looks up to them for some reason. And, and I think that if you can make good decisions and keep yourself in, in shape, uh, you know, put the right things in your body, then you're positively influencing someone who's going to be better off because of that uh, in the long run themselves. That's, that's awesome. Well, how, you received that? That's huge. You know, it's funny you mentioned Charles Barkley because after we got done with our video shoot, uh, I didn't want to fight traffic to get all the way up to Frisco. And so I went to dinner at Nick and Sam's where uh, Larry North's son was actually waiting on us. And we took Sarah and Claire and we were there with Charles Barkley and Tony Romo. And I had no idea that you were, I should have known, I guess I'm an idiot. But anyway, who's not friends with Troy Aikman, right? Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> anyway, at this point in time, really quick, uh, we, we allowed some, some of the press to come in just to ask a few questions and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Chris, any questions you have for the, the Troy Aikman? Hey, Chris. Question I have for you is, you got, you're involved in this organization now, you're partners with this. You mentioned this a little earlier about how important it is to you. Is this a greater responsibility for you? Is this a greater responsibility for you personally to be a part of this, or is this a natural thing for you because you wanted to take care of yourself? Do you feel any burden to be involved with the organization? No, it's it's very uh, it's a it's a good question, and I'm going to answer that as as honestly as I can. It's it's very natural for me uh, because it's again it's a it's a product that I believe in so much, uh, and not to you know not to continue to be redundant about my answer, but because it is such a personalized product, and me knowing then that I'm getting the the supplements and everything that that my body needs. Uh, it, it, I'd be taking it whether, you know, I was asked to come here and be a part of this or, or not. You know, I mean, whether or not I was uh, uh, involved with the company, I would be taking this product. I mean, I, I believe uh, that strongly in it. So it's not a, it's not a burden whatsoever. It's not, uh, it, it comes very natural. It's easy for me to talk about. And, uh, and that's why I think it's just, that's why I think it's such a great fit. One other quick question. How did you guys actually meet? Did you try to reach out to Troy Logan, or Troy, did you hear about this company and said, I need to get in touch with these people? Yeah, no, he, uh, 
he mentioned Larry North, and uh, Larry was the first one who reached out to me. And I've been, uh, I'm sure most of you know who Larry North is. Maybe many of you are from out of town, I'm not sure. But, but Larry North is an icon here in the, in the North Texas area, at least, uh, for, for health and fitness. And he has a number of gyms, and he's had TV shows, and you know, all kinds of stuff. And, and so I worked out at his gym. In fact, the guy who currently trains me, I've been training with this guy for 10 years, I met at Larry North's gym. Uh, and so Larry and I have kept in touch over the years, and, and here in the last five years or so, we will get together for lunch occasionally, and he'll just talk to me about kind of his workouts or what he's doing or what he's finding is working for him. And, um, you know, it's not all we talk about, but, but that's, a, that's a part of what the lunch is for. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, he tells me about this product, and he says, I, I, th I think you'll really want to hear about this. I think it's great. And, uh, and that's how it began. And then I was in New York at the Super Bowl, and Logan happened to be there. And then, you know, we hooked up, and I, and I heard more about it. I, uh, I probably should know this. I don't know exactly how long this product has been out there. Uh, I know I found out about it, uh, you know, a few weeks prior to the Super Bowl because of Le Larry North. And, uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited about it. I, re I really couldn't. I I'm pretty fired up about it. And, and uh, I, I think everyone else uh, obviously is as well. How about that? <laughs> Logan, how did you feel when you heard that Troy might be interested in uh, using the product? Do what now? What was your reaction when you heard that Troy might be interested in using the products and maybe being involved? <laughs> All right, it's a loaded question. What was, what was your reaction? After the heart attack. Right, right. Yeah, what was your response without Troy wanting to use the products? Well, I have two responses to that. And I guess the first response, I would, I would recommend all of you really soak in what I'm about to tell you. My first response was, well, of course he is. I mean, honestly, my first response is anybody that cares about their health, which last time I checked is everybody, why wouldn't they be behind? I wouldn't be behind this product. And our money would not be behind this product if I didn't know it was the best. It's the best, period. And so I wasn't surprised at all because he's smart and he cares about his health. And so obviously I knew he'd be in it. And then it was the after effect. I remember sitting with my, my wife and I went, Troy Aikman's on our product. <laughs> you know? And that's when, in fact, uh, Troy, I don't think I've even told you this. I have it on my phone. Uh, I, uh, I, I called Mark Bennett, our COO. I said, tell the ID technicians. We have technicians that do all the orders. I said that the Troy Aikman might be placed in an order. And when that happens, you send that off to the side and I'll come pick it up. And I took pictures of your name on there with your ID nutrition order. Awesome. And of course I sent it to you. I said, I told you to buy it. And so, but, uh, but anyway, let's just wrap it up with this because he, he is an amazing dad of two amazing girls and he's, got a, he's, spent, he's missing one of their games to be here for all of us, which we really appreciate because, uh, you know, you can't get time back and that, that means an honor. That's an, we're all honored by that, uh, sacrifice your time. I guess the, the last thing I would, I would ask is this, ID Revolution, there are some folks for whatever reason still haven't registered. Maybe they don't understand how important it is. You'll be speaking live there. Uh, they don't understand the importance of it. What would you say to someone out there that is not sure if they should go or whatever for a huge event May 1st and 3rd? Well, I, I, you know, ID Revolution, it's, hey, it's, it's in, in my world, it's the Super Bowl. You know, I mean, uh, I think if you're going to be a part of this and uh, get excited about this product and learn all that there is to learn and get motivated, and uh, then you're at uh, ID Life Revolution. You know, it's going to be terrific. I'm excited about it. I know you mentioned all the people that are going to be there. Uh, so yeah, you don't want to miss it, and you will miss it if you don't get signed up quickly because it's going to fill up pretty quick. So uh, I hope to see everyone there, um, all of you there, and then all of those of you that uh, are watching online from wherever you're at. I hope to see you on May 3rd. Uh, I would like to add one more thing that uh, many of the people that are uh, aligned with the company have been uh, tweeting, welcoming me, and hey, great to have you a part of the family, and I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I, I've done that online, or, or I've done it through Twitter, but I want to say it again that it, it has meant a lot to me. Whenever I've gotten involved with different companies, the, the one thing that I've tried to uh, 
hopefully do. And I know not everyone is a Cowboys fan. Logan touched on that when I, you know, when he made the introduction. And, uh, and hey, and that's that's quite all right. Uh, but what I do hope is that through the years that I'm involved with this company, regardless of whatever teams you're rooting for, uh, or however much you think that when I'm broadcasting, God, he hates my team, you know, what's the deal? Uh, that at least as it relates to ID Life, I, I hope that I represent the company in a way that makes you all feel good and proud to be a part of the company. And, uh, so thank you. I'll see you on May 3rd. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Are we fired up or what? Well, good. Hey, this afternoon, the most important training of your life in regards to what we're doing here is going to be happening. Amazing speakers and training. If you can't recruit after that, I don't know what to tell you. All right, so uh, we have incredible stuff in store for United Revolution with Troy that you can send to people, all kind of amazing things.